Hello, Chris. Hi. All right, Buster Noby. You'll be notified of your grade. We're told to be here at 9 o'clock. We have 50 officers out there to test. For how many vacancies? Eight. We have five men and three women. Promoted to inspector out of this group. Three women. Do you object, inspector? Now, who might you be? Oh, this is Ms. Grave, the mayor's staff. She's here to monitor these examinations. Uh, this is Inspector Callahan. Oh, yes, I know something of Inspector Callahan. And I'd like to tell you, Inspector, it is the mayor's intention that this department be brought more into line with the mainstream of 20th century thought. Just how does he figure to do that, Mrs. Gray? Well, for, for one thing, his honor intends to uh, broaden the areas of participation for women in the police force. Well, that sounds very stylish. I think he also said something about uh, winnowing the Neanderthals out of the department. Well, I guess we better get on with it. Next applicant. Officer Moore? Yes, sir. As you know, this is the final stage in your examination. It's a rather informal test in which we try to get some line on your ability to think on your feet, your reaction to stress and pressure, your ability to apply the law in a hypothetical situation and so on, OK? Yes, sir. How long have you been on the force? Nine years. What department? Mainly personnel and records. Personnel and records? Huh? Yes, sir. Harry? Hmm? Have you any questions for the applicant? Questions? How fast do you run the hundred? Come on, Callahan. You know how this board functions. All right, I'm sorry. You know that. If you make inspector under the mayor's new guidelines, that you might just be out riding in a police car? Yes, sir. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, Officer Moore, maybe you'll tell us all here about your most important felony arrest. I've never made a felony arrest. Well, maybe you'll tell us about your best misdemeanor arrest, then. I've never made a misdemeanor arrest, either. <clears throat> Then what the hell gives you the right to become an inspector when those men have been out there on the street for 10 or 15 years? The woman's place is in the home. Is that what you're trying to say? What do you think this is, some kind of encounter group? I want to know what Officer Moore is going to do when somebody points a gun at her and says, hit the deck, you son of a bitch. You're just deliberately trying to fail this candidate, aren't you, Callahan? Well, if she fails out there, she gets her ass blown off. It's my ass. And uh, my hard luck. Except that out there, you're going to have a partner. And if you get blown away, he gets blown away with you. And that's a hell of a price to pay for being stylish. Are you finished with the questioning, Callahan? Hypothetical situation, huh? All right, I'm standing on the street corner. And Mrs. Gray there comes up and propositions me. If I come home with her for five dollars, she'll put on an exhibition with a Shetland pony. If this is your idea of humor, Inspector. All right, what are you trying to do here, Callahan? I'm just trying to find out if anybody in this room knows what the hell law is being broken, besides cruelty to animals. That's a conspiracy under Title Seven, Section 182, Paragraph 1 of the California State Penal Code. A conspiracy to commit a misdemeanor is, in fact, a felony. And according to People versus uh, Bashor in yes, 1965... Yes, that's right. That's... Good answer. Thank you, Officer Moore. You'll be notified of your grade. 